Hello everyone. Welcome back. Thanks for joining me. Uh, tonight I am up in the kitchen, not in the basement. It is a beautiful day so I figured, and it's still light outside, and I figured I'd pour up in the kitchen. So I've got <laughs> Juno's out there. Let me see if I can show you. Let, let me see. Hold on. Follow me. Follow me. And there he is. <laughs> he's lounging on the deck on a chair where he's not supposed to be. But he is. I don't know what he's sniffing in the air there, but maybe there's a mosquito. Who knows? But anyways, hopefully he chills and behaves himself while I'm recording. All right, so I wanted, before I get started, I wanted to show you guys these super, super cool things that I got today. Um, you may have seen it posted either on my Instagram or Facebook or saw it on my community tab on YouTube, but I got these super cool mermaids that my awesome woodworking guy made for me. So I have this one um, primed and ready. So she's taped on the back, which took forever, mind you. Taped on the back, and she has a coat of gesso on her. And then we have the big, <laughs> the big mermaid. Guys, she is huge. Like, that's my hand on her head. So, like, I mean, she's the length of my kitchen table. Like... She's 24 inches. It's insane. I, I can't wait. It's going to be so awesome. Um, I'm hoping to get the little one resin. I'm going to try it tonight if I have time. I'm, I, hope so. I hope I do because I'm really excited. Okay, moving along. Tonight, I am going to do the Smart Art Materials Kiss June Challenge, the Kiss Pour Challenge. So um, if you guys don't know Olga, she is uh, a lovely lady from Canada, where I'm from, a fellow Canuck, which is awesome. And she has a challenge for the month of June uh, to do a kiss pour with warm and cold colors. So these are my warm and cold colors here. And so I figured, you know what, the month is almost over and I haven't had a chance to do it. So I figured I'd buckle down and do it today before June is over. So I will post um, links and all that in the descriptions below. So what you have to do is use warm and cold colors and the deal is you have to have uh, negative white space. So I'm gonna start with that. I'm going to pour my white base on my canvas which uh, is a 10 by 10 canvas there we go oh too much maybe too much maybe okay and i've got my awesome spatula spread it all out all right my paints are in the way Okay, so there we go. Okay, so I've got my white down. I'm gonna just make sure I get my edges. All right. All right here. I'll be interested to see. I, I've never done um, a kiss pour, so this uh, should be interesting. All right, so I will torch it, get all the bubbles out. I just filled this yesterday and it's like on full power. Got something in there. Okay, so. My colors that I'm gonna be using, uh, this one's not labeled because I just made it, 
It is Amsterdam and it's greenish blue. I just bought it. I love this color. Uh, followed by um, Brilliant Blue by Liquitex Basics. Uh, Metallic Cobalt Blue by Artist Loft. And on the top, Iridescent Blue Green by Pebeo Studio Acrylics. And then over here, I have Cadmium Red Deep Hue by Liquitex Basics. And then I have Orange by Artist Loft and a Cadmium Yellow Deep Hue by Liquitex Basics. So I have three here and four here. Uh, yeah, I still wanna leave four blues because I love blue. So I am going to start with, do I want a little white at the bottom? Nah, I shouldn't. I'll put it on the top because that's what's gonna come out last. Yeah, so I will add my blue. I don't know how much to add, so this is all trial and error for me, because like I said, I've never done this before. So I'm not sure how much I need, if I'm gonna have enough, not enough. We'll see, we'll figure it out. So then I will do the blue. Okay, and then my metallic. I don't know if I have enough here. Maybe I should have put more. Uh, might be too late to put more. I don't know. And my iridescent blue green. Uh, maybe it'll be enough. And then a little white on the top. Yeah, this should be good. I think this should be good. I'll have to add more of these because I only have three colors. So let's start with the red. Orange. And last but not least, the yellow. Oh, looks like there's gonna be more in this than the other one. Lots of yellow. <laughs> Trying to make it level with the blues. I guess I should have had another color, but I think it's okay actually. And I'll top it off with my white. All right, I'm excited. I want to see how this is going to turn out. Okay, so the deal is you have to pour them at the same time and make the colors kiss. So they're supposed to touch as you're pouring. So maybe I'll just... Maybe I'll do this. Oh, my knees. I'm not a teenager anymore. Good God. All right. Let's see what happens, guys. And you have to pour them at the same time, right? So. I see a lot of white. Oh, God. Where's all my colors? Oh man, oh, there they are. There's my colors. Maybe I put too much white. Oh man, I love the blues, holy cow. Wow. Now, I don't wanna drip anywhere around the rings because it'll ruin my design. <laughs> what did I just say? I just said it, and look what I did right there. Oh well. What can you do? Oh gosh, my knees. There's a lot of red there in there. That's pretty cool. And then, oh my God, I love these colors, man. This is so cool. Well, that looks pretty cool. All right, let's torch it. All right, so I'm pretty sure Olga had said she you, you're supposed to keep some negative space like in the corners. So I think I'm going to, this might even be a lot too much paint. So I'm gonna tilt um, just here and try and keep my corners white. That's, that's what I'm gonna try and do. 
So let's see what happens. Because I think it would look cool. Oh yeah, look at the red. All right, so I've gone over that edge and I'm gonna come back and go over the other edge now. That looks pretty cool, the way it's stretching out. So now I've gone over that edge and I'll come back to the center. And now I'm in the center. I'm gonna go over this edge. Okay, now I'm gonna come, wow, this is so cool. Now I'm gonna come back and go all the way down the other edge. So I think the more I stretch it, the nicer the colors come out and the rings look actually. So, sorry, you probably can't see this angle very much. Holy smokes, guys. Now that is cool. I'm gonna wear it right back to the center. Oh my gosh, let me center it this way a bit. What? <laughs> Not bad for a first try. Wow, I am excited. Okay, that's pretty darn cool. I'm loving that. Wow. That is so cool. This is super cool. Look at the, there's like, I'll bring it down, but there's like blue inside of here. That is so cool. I like how the blue, I don't even know how the blue got over the, the orange and the yellow and came over here. That'd be really cool if it did it over here, but you know what? And here's that drop I made, which is crazy, but I actually don't mind it because it matches this here. But I can't believe this. Should I torch it or should I leave it? I don't know, am I supposed to torch it? I don't even know. What? Guys, I, I don't wanna torch it. I actually love it like that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take you off. Oh my God. All right. I, every time I do this, I freak out. Totally freak out. All right, I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay, guys. Check that out. Uh, I am pretty excited about that. That is super cool. Let's do this angle. So look at that. Look how the blue ended up in between the yellow and the orange and the red, which is crazy. and I'm loving it and this is cool too this reminds this looks like fire like fire and then I don't know what's going on down here but that's kind of cool too oh you see the reflection from my mirror wow so what do you think guys that was pretty awesome and I actually love that that is so cool I'm loving it and I love the colors together too which gives me an idea doo -doo -doo, for my next pour, actually. So that's it for now for this one. So this is the Smart Art Materials June Challenge, the Kiss Pour Challenge for June. And thank you for watching. And if you like it, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit uh, the subscription and subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell. That way you are notified every time I post a new video or go live. So thank you for watching. Check out all my links below. I'm on Facebook, Instagram. I'm now on Pinterest and Reddit. I have an Amazon shop, a uh, US Amazon shop, and a Canadian Amazon shop. And I have everything listed in there that I use, like the spatula, the torch, all that stuff. And of course, the lovely PayPal link for anyone who would like to support me and give me a donation so I can keep doing 
cool and fun stuff like this and teaching you as I go. So thanks very much, guys. Love you lots. And I will see you guys next time. And where's Juno? Oh, there he is. <laughs> Bye, guys. Love you lots. See you soon. Take care.